greetings for the day dear students in the chain of my lectures on steroids this is my third lecture and today i'll discuss about the cholesterol in this lecture i will give you introduction of the cholesterol and general information and also the structure of cholesterol so what is cholesterol sometimes we hear good cholesterol bad cholesterol so let us see what is all this so steroids are a third class of lipids found in the membranes of eukaryotes and very rarely in bacteria steroids along with lipid vitamins and terpenes are classified as isoprenoids because their structures are related to five carbon molecule isoprene steroids contain four fused rings three six carbon rings designated as a b c and a five carbon d ring now let's come to the topic cholesterol cholesterol is derived from ancient greek word chole that means bile and steroid that is solid followed by the chemical suffix all for an alcohol is an organic molecule it is derived lipid molecule a sterol or modified steroid so iupac name of cholesterol is given in this slide it is 3b cholest 5 in 3 all and the systematic name is here 215 dimethyl 14 tetracyclo hectacos 7 in 5 all other names are cholesterol cholesterol alcohol and it is given here also the other name properties its molecular formula is c27 h46 o molar mass is 386.65 g per mole its appearance is white crystalline powder density is 1.052 g per cc melting point is 148 to 150 degree centigrade boiling point is 360 degree centigrade and it decomposes at this temperature above this temperature the solubility in water is 0.095 mg per liter at 30 degree centigrade the solubility it is soluble in acetone benzene chloroform ethanol ether hexane isopropyl myristane and methanol here this is the structure of cholesterol here we can see three six member ring named a b and c and a five member ring named d now let us come to production of cholesterol in vertebrates in vertebrates the hepatic cells typically produce greater amounts of cholesterol than other cells it is almost completely absent among prokaryotes that is bacteria and archaea although there are some exceptions such as mycoplasma which require cholesterol for growth body cholesterol content for a man of about 68 kg that is 150 pound typical total body cholesterol synthesis is approximately 1 g that is 1000 mg per day total body content of cholesterol is approximately 35 g primarily located within the membranes of all cells of the body typically daily dietary intake of additional cholesterol is 200 to 300 mg ingested cholesterol most ingested cholesterol is esterified and esterified cholesterol is poorly absorbed the body also compensates for any absorption of additional cholesterol by reducing cholesterol synthesis for these reasons 7 to 10 hours after ingestion of cholesterol blood levels will show little if any effect on 
total body cholesterol content or concentrations of cholesterols in the blood. However, during the first 7 hours after ingestion of cholesterol, the levels signif significantly increase. Cholesterol is recycled. The liver excretes it in a non-esterified form via bile into the digestive tract. Typically, about 50% of the excreted cholesterol is reabsorbed by the small bowel back into the bloodstream. Now, we see what are the functions of cholesterol. Cholesterol is required in to build and maintain membranes. It modulates membrane fluidity over the range of physiological temperatures. Cholesterol serves as a precursor for biosynthesis of steroids, hormones, bile acids and vitamin D. Cholesterol is the principal sterol synthesized by animals. All kinds of cells in animals can produce it. Recent studies show that vitamin D is a protein antioxidant helping to detox the body and protect arteries too. Cell membrane integrity. It is biosynthesized by all animal cells because it is an essential structural component of animal cell membranes. It is required to maintain both the structural integrity and fluidity of the cell membrane. Cholesterol enables animal cells. To protect membrane integrity or cell viability, cholesterol enables animal cells not to need a cell wall like plants and bacteria and thus animal cells are able to change shape and move about unlike bacteria and plant cells which are restricted by their cell walls. Here we can see the plasma membrane, here the lipids are shown, phospholip here the different um, layers are shown, phospholipid content is about 75%, glycolipids are about 5% and in the outside uh, of the cell membrane I am telling about and the hypo hydrophobic environment is there and the inside of cell cholesterol is there about 20% and here I have shown integral protein and peripheral proteins also. The hydroxyl group on cholesterol interacts with the polar head groups of the membrane phospholipids and sphingolipids while the bulky steroid and the hydrocarbon chain are embedded in the membrane alongside the non-polar fatty acid chain of the other lipids. Through the interaction with the phospholipid fatty acid chains, cholesterol increases membrane packing which re reduces membrane fluidity. So we can say that there are many functions of cholesterol in the cell membrane and cholesterol serves as a precursor for vitamin D also. Here I have shown the structure of vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. It is also the precursor of steroid hormones. Cholesterol is, a, is the precursor of all steroid hormones which account for numerous physiological functions our body needs to maintain a normal healthy state. Cholesterol is similar to a band-aid used to repair the wounds and irritations on the arteries. Pregnenolone is also a precursor of, to all the steroid hormones. Cholesterol is an important precursor molecule for the synthesis of steroid hormones including the adrenal gland hormones cortisol and aldosterone as well as the sex hormones that is progesterone, estrogens and testosterone and their derivatives. Some research indicate that cholesterol may act as antioxidant. Now we come to the structure of cholesterol. 
कोलेस्ट्रॉल अकर्स एज फ्री फ्रॉम और इन द एस्टर फॉर्म एज आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर कोलेस्ट्रॉल हैज़ अ मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला ऑफ सी ट्वेंटी सेवन एच ट्वेंटी फाइव ओ एच दिस मॉलिक्यूल इज कम्पोज ऑफ थ्री रीजन नंबर वन अ हाइड्रोकार्बन टेल नंबर टू अ रिंग स्ट्रक्चर रीजन विद फोर हाइड्रोकार्बन रिंग्स एंड अ हाइड्रोक्सल ग्रुप द हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप इज पोलर विच मेक्स इट वाटर सॉलेबल द फोर रिंग्स ऑफ द कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज द सिग्नेचर ऑफ ऑल स्टेराइड हॉर्मोन्स द लास्ट रीजन इज द हाइड्रोकार्बन टेल बोथ द रिंग रीजन एंड द टेल रीजन आर नॉट पोलर बिकॉज कोलेस्ट्रॉल कंटेन्स बोथ अ वाटर सॉलेबल रीजन एंड अ फैट सॉलेबल रीजन इट इज कॉल्ड एम्फीपैथिक now we see the chemistry presence of a double bond and a hydroxyl group the conversion of cholesterol into cholesterol shows that the presence of a double bond here we can see on reduction it gives cholesterol the oxidation of cholesterol with chromic acid into cholesterol shows the presence of a secondary alcoholic group in cholesterol here we can see the conversion of cholesterol into cholesterol the clemensens reduction of cholesterol yields a saturated hydrocarbon called cholestan presence of a ring system the molecular formula of cholestan corresponds to the general formula of cnh2n minus 6 of a tetracyclic system on distillation with selenium at 360 degree centigrade cholesterol yields deals hydrocarbon here we can see in this reaction the cholesterol is uh, in presence of uh, selenium at 360 degree centigrade gives deals hydrocarbon the reaction shows the presence of a cyclopentyl pentenophenanthrene nucleus in cholesterol and thus cholesterol cholesterol is a steroid position of the hydroxyl group the formation of 37 dimethyl cyclopentenophenanthrene from cholesterol by the following steps is possible if only oh group is considered at position c3 so by this series of reaction we can confirm the position of oh group at c3 so this was all about the cholesterol its general uh, information and the structure thank you have a nice day